close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I
much for sticking around until the end of this video. I hope you guys kind of got some motivation out of it. I have just not felt well. I felt, I've been feeling really under the weather lately. Um, but I had to like just muster through it and clean my house. So I thought I would do a um, video while I was at it. I wanted to show you guys some of the fall decorations. I was going to make that another video, but I thought, shh, just combine them. We're having a really rough day all around. Like nobody feels good. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and show you some of the fall decorations that I got. I know I showed you that fall the other day, but I want to see, I want to show you how I set it up. Also, aside from that, I did a lot of that. Um, I put all those fall decorations up that I got in my hall and my kids were pretty disappointed. So I ended up going down and searching my basement and found a bunch more of like the fun, sparkly Halloween decorations and went ahead and brought those up too. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this and show you that. I also got a few more things, so I'll try to point those out to you as well. And I will see you guys on my next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the fall decorations. Thanks. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start off on my kitchen. These were those... So clearly that didn't go as planned, but these are the candlestick holders that I got from Hobby Lobby and the pumpkins that I got from Walmart. Um, this, I had a tea light burn in here earlier, but I went to go get my boys and I blew it out, but it's just like a little cute bucket and it's like a nice pretty glow in the, in this corner back here that I like. Um, and then these little Frankensteins, uh, either my mother-in-law made them by herself or her and the kids made them together. I can't remember, but I just went ahead and stuffed them with some Halloween napkins. Um, and then I have some, uh, I do wax burners over candles just because I feel like it gives you so much more of a scent. I feel like I get a lot more, like it's a lot more strong, or it fills up our house a lot more, I should say. Um, and then I have this cute little Halloween towel. Isn't that adorable? There's another one that came in the pack. I got them from Target. Um, and it's just like black with spider web on it, which is super cute too. And then my husband did this, um, we have a chalk wall obviously right here. And he did this with like sidewalk chalk. Like I, I can't even draw him a sidewalk with sidewalk chalk. And he's like <laughs> Bob Ross in it. I don't know what to say about this, but it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty impressed. And then over here I did, um, the sparkly pumpkins, I found those in the basement. I'm talking quiet because Lainey is, she fell asleep down here. Um, the sparkly pumpkins and then these, I don't know what to call, I can't remember what I called them earlier, but they're from Hobby Lobby and I just stuffed them in that little vase back there that I've had forever. And then another sparkly spider and this sparkly pumpkin. Um, and all these sparkly things that I, hold on one second, but all these sparkly things that I got from... Guys, please don't fight. All the, the sparkly stuff I got from Target a few years ago, and it was all on clearance. It was after Halloween for like 50 cents a piece, or maybe even 25 cents a piece. Like, it was super, super cheap. Um, hold on one second. This cat I got from Gordman's for $5.99. These pumpkins are from Target, which I'm sure you've seen like everybody have those so far because they're in the dollar spot. I think my mother-in-law made this little pumpkin back here for me. Another sparkly spider, this down here. And then these are the pumpkins I had that I painted, ooh, that I painted white. And then these are the antlers that were gold. And you, this camera doesn't do it justice, but I went through after I painted it and got sandpaper and kind of roughed it up to give it a more edgy look or a less like pretty look. Um, this pumpkin we had from like our wedding and I just left it in here because I thought, I don't know. It doesn't look very good though because the other ones are so white in comparison to that. So I'm not going to be able to keep that there. I just kind of set this here just for the time being because I'm not really sure what I want to do with this. Um, this big board, I made this out of plywood and then like um, these two by fours we had out in the garage from after we made the boys bunk bed. And for Lainey's birthday, I put a big, I wrote one with like floral garland in it. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I thought about like using uh, a stencil and painting it 
um, like to say fall and then in with the Cricut and some vinyl writing happy or hello fall like sideways like this and then fall down like with a stencil and paint I don't know yet I got to figure out what I want to do with that so that's still a thought process like trying to be executed and then if you remember the Halloween stickers yeah they all fall apart like in the first couple minutes hold on one minute cruise um, I was going to have it all nice and pretty over here for you, but my kids came home and already busted out their smoothies and my computer's out because I had to do something really fast. But here is this um, little tray that I got and I just took this garland and wrapped it around and then put the pumpkins in there really nice and pretty. And then cut some of those, if you watched my fall haul, those um, little flower things that I got from Walmart for 98 cents. I just cut them up and kind of just stuffed them in here just to add the effect and kind of make it pretty and then over here I got um, this all right and there's Glyce in the background um, and yeah our bin from all of our fall decorations is still out and water on the floor and like a Megatron back there but it's just this is real life this is really our house <laughs> anyways um, I got this glass pumpkin from Gorman's for $5.99 this was also $5.99 from Gordman's. Yeah. And then I just pulled these little glass. I've had these glass jars forever. And I just put the rest of those um, little floral things from Walmart in there. And it looks like nice. Like I like how this looks. This is kind of like what I was in, like intending on doing whenever I said I wanted the like muted colors. That's, this was my intention. But my kids really wanted the uh, sparkly, more Halloween-y kind of stuff. Um, in my bathroom, I also do have, like, a, that, that towel I was telling you about and another, like, glass pumpkin. It's not like this, but it's just a glass pumpkin. It's kind of boring, and I don't really want to, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could show you, but it's not that exciting. So, anyways, my kids are turning back on the TV. They can't live without it. They just got home from school, and they were just fiending for it. So, I will see you guys on the next one, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked any of our fall decor. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.